What's up, y'all? It's your boy Steph. Back with another reaction. This time we have Mr. Creepy Pasta, Mysterious Caller, Creepy Pasta Story Time, uploaded February 19th, 2019. Down in the description will be a link to Mr. Creepy Pasta's channel, along with the link to this original video, so you guys can go see it for yourselves without my commentary. Without further ado, let's get into it. I don't answer phone numbers that aren't saved into my phone, so I block you real quick. It was quick. Tuesday when I arrived in my cubicle. As I had done nearly every workday for the past seven years, I hung my satchel over the chair, booted up my PC, and slumped into my station. The air was filled with recirculated coffee grinds and old paper with a hint of chemical cleaner. I moved my hands to the keyboard and almost knocked off a small silver flip phone sitting upon it. I paused, brow furrowed slightly in confusion. That wasn't my cell phone. I picked it up, turned it around, looked worn, perhaps one of my colleagues. Standing, I leaned over the partition to Carol's cube. Carol, is this your cell phone? Juan blinked through her thick-rimmed glasses and shook her head. No, what brand is it? I haven't seen it before. I examined it again and frowned. There was no company logo, not even when I flipped it open. It was off, so I thumbed the power button and it turned on with a quick little MIDI tune. The window displayed a dark wallpaper and a large red eye staring out, and the date and time displayed in white underneath. Someone has weird taste. What the fuck? Showing Carol the display. She pulled a face. It's like you can see me and laughed at her, but I quickly realized she was looking a little pale. Oh, it's nothing, I dismissed. And I tried to access the menu. Perhaps some of the contacts would be familiar. But when I pushed the menu button, nothing happened. I tried the numbers. Still nothing. Looks like the pad's busted, I muttered. Just then an eerie tune started to play from it. Something that set the hair on the back of my neck on end. I hesitated and then pushed the little green button, lifting the phone to my ear. Okay. All right, all right, boy. I don't know if I could do this. This video is only five minutes and 32 seconds long and I have goosebumps already. I did not expect this face to pop up. Bruh, do y'all see this shit? And it seems like it was just the eyes and like the nose and the face at first, but then like the body the not the body the hands and all that it started coming into focus it's like it's moving towards the screen i swear to god mr creepypasta you better not fucking jump scare me you better not i swear to god i feel like that's where this is going your co-worker was right it does look like it can see you if this thing blinks bruh Okay. This face should be put in horror movies. Stay away from her. The deep male voice almost made me drop the cell. It was horrible. Like no human male voice should ever be so, so deep and mutilated. It was like I could hear the oozing of worms coiled around his vocal cords. The signal cut out and I slammed the phone down upon my desk. My face pale and sweating. What? What was that? I muttered. Carol had stood up and was staring at me in shock. What's wrong? Who, who was it? I slowly shook my head and repeated what the horrible voice had said. And the thought came to me. My eye. The one that Carol said that she felt was staring at her deep. You think it was your father? I said in a wavering voice. Carol seemed to tense and swiftly shook her head. That's impossible. My dad's dead. 
this. It was like all of the sound reached out of the room as soon as she finished her sentence. The last words seemed to echo for all eternity inside of my skull. Dead. 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 I felt my throat suddenly constrict as if an invisible hand had caught around it. I gagged and stumbled backwards, my hands raised to try and fight at the invisible fingers, but I only succeeded in gouging out deep cuts of my own throat flesh, and I tried to speak a gurgling, croaking sound that horrified me. Then, then who was... I tried to speak, but I could hear a crunching in my neck. Carol was screaming. The darkness was falling upon me in waves. No! Really? Hey there, kids. It's me, Mr. Creepypasta. And once again, <laughs> it's the end of tonight's video. So I want to tell you all thank you for listening or watching however you hear my voice. Whether it be on YouTube... Hey. Or on the podcast, thank you so much for being here with me. There's going to be a new story every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday night right here on YouTube. Or, if you're not watching on YouTube, that means the podcast gets updated on SoundCloud, Apple, Google Play, and now the podcast is on Spotify. So if it's easier for you guys to listen there than it is to listen on YouTube, then hey, not such a bad deal, right? As always, any support you guys give towards Mr. Creepypasta Storytime really does help me out. I can actually keep the lights on in the house, and I can get nice little cat treats for Hercules. Okay, sorry for taking up so much of your time. Thank you guys for listening once again. And sweet dreams. It's been a while since the Creepypasta has given me goosebumps like I have now. I'm glad I got this jacket on, because I'm bruh. Ah, oh, bruh, man. Damn. Like, it was already scary enough. And then the face just kept coming more and more into focus. And you can make out all the features and whatnot. The badumps, the little ending, that, that got me because I wasn't expecting it. I would have preferred that compared to what I was actually expecting. I was expecting either for... The face or the whole figure to like move towards the camera. And, you know, since they were, you know, their hands were right here, you know, move towards the camera like that all quick like. Or for while his eyes were like looking down, it would just like to look up. And like look right at the screen looking at me and whoever's watching. Bro, I would have lost my shit. <laughs> but I fucked with it. These short creepypastas, man, they, they just get right to the creepiness. They just get right to the scary shit. I like that. <laughs> Shout out, Mr. Creepypasta. What did y'all think of the story? Leave your comments and suggestions and opinions down below. That is it for this video, y'all. If you like my reaction, like the video, comment on the video, and share the video. And if you really liked it, subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out a lot. And tap that bell icon so you will be notified every time I drop new content, which I do on a weekly basis. That is all I got for y'all this time around. Your boy Steph is out.